What's going on guys, how you doing? This is Kendrick the Sports Guy with TFG Sports Media. Here on YouTube and on Facebook, Kendrick Sports also page. The NBA trading deadline is on Thursday and the Los Angeles Lakers have a tense situation brewing right now. But before we get to those details, click like and subscribe to TFG Sports Media here on YouTube. Flip over to Facebook, hit that thumbs up button for Kendrick Sports also page. The Lakers took on the defending champs last night, the Milwaukee Bucks, and they lost another one, 131 to 116. Now, there's a tense situation that's brewing in La La Land between point guard Russell Westbrook and head coach Frank Vogel. This is the second game that he's been benched. He did not play at all in the fourth quarter, uh, even when his team had cut the deficit to 10 points. It was the second straight game in which Westbrook was benched for the end of the game. Well, a reporter asked Westbrook in a post-game press conference, uh, do he think that he has to prove a little bit more or do something different with his game to not be on the bench when it mattered? This is what Westbrook had to say. Do you have a sense for what benchmarks you have to hit to, to be in the starting line or the closing line more consistently? I'll, I'll, I'll got that answer for you, brother. I wish I did. I shouldn't have to hit any benchmark, to be honest. I put a lot of work in. I got a lot of respect in this game. I, I, I don't have to hit a benchmark. I shouldn't have to. Um, I earned the right, you know, to be in closing lineups. I mean, I, you know, numbers will tell you. I don't have to explain that. But like I said, once again, it ain't my decision. That's the decision that he um, and the staff think is best for the game. And unfortunately, um, you know, I just kind of just got to go with it and figure it out the best way I can and be there for my teammates as much as I can and make sure I come to work and do my job as a professional. Westbrook was asked about a moment he had with LeBron James and Anthony Davis at the end of the game. Westbrook said that he told both players that he wished he was able to be in the game to help them. When asked about Vogel's communication, Westbrook said bluntly, Vogel hasn't been clear with his communication about his playing time. And that's what Westbrook said to a reporter. So, again, the Los Angeles Lakers are in free fall. They're sitting at 26 and 29 right now. They're ninth in the West. Probably will be in the playing game. Most likely, I don't see them making a big run. Uh, the roster that they put together was not very good. I think GM Rob Palenka has a lot on his mind and trying to probably make some moves, making phone calls. I'm sure LeBron James is probably scratching his head as well because he kind of was the second man in command to bring this team together. So I don't, I don't see the Lakers doing anything. I don't know if they'll be able to make any moves come tomorrow. As uh, far as trying to move Westbrook, that's going to be tough to do with his contract. I think he's owed like 40-something million dollars next year. I, I don't know if any team would be willing to trade for that. So we'll see. I'd like to know what you guys think about these Lakers Russell Westbrook and Frank Vogel and, and just the Lakers in general. What do you see them doing? Do you think they'll make the playoffs? Leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe. This has been your sports guy Kendrick with TSG Sports Media and until next time, peace.